Did you know he didn't actually say, Houston, we have a problem? He actually said, This is Houston, Texas. So we've been doing one city, two bites, three sites, and I was trying to figure out what we could do for sites in Houston. And what's cool, the Houston Astros were in town playing the Texas Rangers. So it was the Battle of the Texans. It was really fun to go to the Astros game as they were playing the Rangers and kind of check out the things they do there, the foods they have there, the traditions they have. It was very stormy that night. There was this like white cloud coming in like whoosh. Okay, so the funny thing is that Minute, Minute Maid Park, on the way in, we saw that it was gonna rain. And we kept having conversations about, well, what happens if it rains? Usually it's either postponed or delayed. Hopefully it's not postponed, because obviously... We have plans tomorrow. Yeah, and we would basically just miss the game. And then we go and find our seats, and it turns out that uh, Minute Maid Park is totally enclosed. So yeah, we got to enjoy the game. We left a little bit early from the game because it was pretty late. We hadn't eaten dinner yet, and so we went to Whataburger. At the large onion rings. Why isn't there any Whataburgers in Minnesota? Dear Whataburger, okay. why are you not with us? I need to give this a taste first. Okay, give it a taste. I got chicken and fries. You know that, some sort of chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. I was gonna get the chicken salad, but it's like way more money. I didn't realize there was a time limit on the chicken and honey butter biscuit sandwich. I really wanted that. From 11 to 11, but I'm in the wrong sandwich of 11. No onions, mayo, do you like it? Love it. Love it. I tried a burger that had more than cheese, ketchup, and pickles on it, and I loved it. They're a little messier than, than other traditional burgers. <laughs> At the end, I share, we shared a chocolate malt with mom. And dipped fries in it, because that's a must. That is a must. This is a must. We would keep dipping our fries in there. Are you making sure it's amazing? Yeah. Okay. Gotta check that one too. Amazing. So with the restaurants that we choose, whether it's fast food or sit down, or wherever we go, we always try to choose a spot that we do not have in Minnesota. We don't have Whataburger. 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 Have y'all been to Whataburger? It's kind of like, what, a, what is Whataburger? Whataburger, good, 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 good stuff. Space stuff, math and science people. Space geeks. I actually really like math and science. I should have worked for NASA. Since I was a kid, I've always been interested in space travel. And so it's kind of been like a little bit of a dream to see this place. You know, watching all of the shuttles launch when I was growing up. Three, two, one. I really love space. So for me, going to any place with like space or spaceships or flight involved is gonna be fun. I liked making the paper rockets and launching them. I made a rocket with paper. It didn't go as high or far as I expected. Mine shot so far. It was awesome. And it's cute. Look at how cute it is. There's some tours that you can go on where you hop on a tram. You gotta download the app to reserve your spot virtually. And then the app lets you know when it's ready to get in line and when you'll be boarding. We got to see where astronauts train. As well as for the next generation of space The training facility was really cool. We got to see their Valkyrie robots, which can be controlled by VR headsets or Xbox controllers. They had initially been designed to go into places that have had a disaster and search for survivors. If you're like, 12 years old, you could grow up and work for NASA manning robots in space. So I technically could work for NASA now. How long have these guys been in here? Someone needs to let them out, for real. 
It was amazing being there. I touched a rock from the moon and a shooting star of rock. I I'm pretty sure it was a full one. Did you know it's Houston? We've had a problem. Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. Not Houston, we have a problem. This is Houston, say again, please. Oh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. It's really hard to pin down something I loved most about the Space Center because I really loved it all. Good job, dude. We spent four hours there. Um, I could have easily spent the entire day. Jill found this Italian restaurant which was really close to the Space Center. Okay guys, we went to one of the best restaurants in the world. The food was good, but the best part of it was the people. We got there at 3 o'clock between lunch and dinner, and it was really cool because there wasn't many people in there. We sat down and right away they just treated us like family. Quite a few of the workers and the owner came over and just told us some of the history, told us funny stories. Say, come back here, I gave you a job. Because I'm going to Italy, <laughs> by your age. And they were just sharing all these stories of all these people who have come through, astronauts, actors. The walls are packed full of signed, like autographed photographs of astronauts who have eaten in this place since 1972. And then there's so much like VIPs that have been there. The president of Italy. All these astronauts. Tom Cruise had actually visited there. Before you take me, let me know I have to put some makeup on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and on top of that, the food was good. As big as your face. Right? Combined. Mm. Good. We sat there for maybe two hours just chatting with these guys. Cool. What do you think? <laughs> Frankie's one of the coolest guys that I've ever met. Just one of the coolest experiences we've ever had in a restaurant, and I would highly recommend going there. They were also F U N N Y. Fun. Future work at a green cheese, huh? <laughs> Ciao, y'all. Ciao, y'all. <laughs> Then how come you're not in? Scared of jellyfish because they saw one. Dad saw a jellyfish? Yep. And we're like, no thanks to jellyfish. Yeah. From Frenchies, we went to a local beach in the Bay Area. We went to Sylvan Beach and... There was a warning sign about jellyfish. So I'm like, oh no, now I'm gonna get stung by jellyfish. And looked up on my phone what to do in case of jellyfish sting, because that's kind of my luck. The water here, you just walked right in and it was warm. Like, immediately, I was used to it. It's like, actually sort of hot. There are fish jumping up in the water. It's cool. I don't get it. I, I don't know what kind of fish they are, but it's really fun to watch. Watch, viewer, watch. <laughs> I think I got it. So I stand up, I get out of the water, and I'm like, ow, mom, there's this red spot on me. And she's like, it's a jellyfish sting. Bum, bum, bum. Elliot goes in the water, he comes out stung by a jellyfish. Comment below if you've ever got stung or bit by anything that you shouldn't have been bit or stung by. We didn't stay very long, but that's okay because Quinn found this amazing shop. It was top rated if you're in that area. It's definitely one of the places that we would recommend. Quinn, what did you get? Sour apples, sour vegetables, uh, And what, what meal is this for? Dinner. This is my dinner right here. We had had so much at Frenchie's Italian restaurant that ice cream definitely had to be the follow-up meal because I don't think we could have handled any more. Getting the strawberry parfait. No raisins, I hate raisins, but it should be good. Okay, what do you got? Blue bell, blue monster. With blue vanilla, cookie dough, and chocolate chip, um, it was really good. I loved it. I also liked mom's banana split a lot. It was really good. Mom got a banana split that I also wish I had gotten. So when you go to an Italian place and you eat around three o'clock and you stay there until five, just kind of still eating, then the appropriate thing to do for dinner is ice cream. It's the obvious choice. 
Ice cream for dinner is always awesome. There is so much more to do in Houston. I would definitely go back. So I guess we'll just have to have a second visit because we definitely need to go to Frenchie's again. Make sure to subscribe and then click the bell so you can know when the rest of these videos come out. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it so much. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time.